three competitors, Amar, Akbar and Anthony, reached beneath a large W in search of hidden treasure. But there, they found out the treasure was actually located in an old ruin, surrounded on all sides by sand. Now, whoever reached the treasure first would get to claim it. All three competitors had the same running speed on both sand and ground. However, their speed on the solid ground was faster than on sand. Because of this, there were many possible paths to reach the treasure, each taking a different amount of time. Amar decided to take the shortest path, a straight line. But that straight line path wouldn't take the least time, because he would have to spend more time running through the slower sand. Akbar thought differently. He wanted to spend least time on the sand, so he took a nearly vertical route straight towards the ground part. This did reduce his time in the sand, but increased his total distance on the ground a lot. Making the overall time longer. Anthony on the other hand had a unique quality. He was really good at physics. Looking at the situation, he suddenly remembered the chapter on refraction of light. When light travels from one medium to another, where its speed changes, it chooses the path that allows it to go from one point to another in the least possible time. And in trying to take the least time path, light bends. That bending is what we call refraction. This special path can be calculated using this formula. Anthony knew his speed on both sand and ground. So, just like light, he chose the path that would take the least time. By the way, can you tell why light doesn't bend when it travels perpendicularly from one medium to another?